interesting people, including our creaking door attorneys, never shaken, white-lipped, and trembling. And it's no secret how they got that way. <laughs> Go through with it, that's all. I can't. 
Pull yourself together. I've seen the sign. Sign, I tell you. There in the execution shed. No, I can't go through with it. The chap's innocent. You speak of a sign. What sign? Uh, well, when I opened the door of the execution shed, it was there. Morse. Standing on a trap of the gallows. The rope round his neck. It couldn't have been Morse. Yeah. Morse is in the condemned cell and you know it. And he's alive, so it could hardly have been his ghost. I tell you. I tell you, I see yourself together. You're suffering from nerves, that's all. Me? Me? Suffering from nerves? Not in your life. Remember what happened to your father? Yeah. My father was the best hang when this country ever had. Well, he killed himself, all right, very well. Lots of us go that way. You see, a uh, man thought they're different when he's alone. That's when they come. When they stand round with their heads bent. The ones you turned off. When the daylight comes, it's different. They just vanish away. Whoever heard of a haunted execution shed? Why, the idea is nonsense. That's exactly what I've been well, telling you, man. Hang it all, Charters. You, you can't expect me to ring up the Home Secretary and, and get him to postpone an execution because you started seeing it. Because he was standing on the trap with a rope around his neck. Hood was over his head. He raised the hands. Stop. It's like a cop on point duty. Excuse me, sir. Is the execution postponed? No, of course not. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, it is. Because, beg your pardon, sir, that poor fellow waiting in the death cell. The convicts are starting to get out of hand. You know what it's like when there's an execution. They're all on edge. Moss is a very popular man. Yeah, I'll talk to Moss, then to the men. And Chartres, you stay here and try to screw up enough courage to do your job. Water Bates, examine the execution shed and tell me what you discover. We'll meet here in ten minutes. guilty by a jury of your peers. That's all that concerns me. You were sentenced to death and jail delivery was affected with my presence. I didn't kill Judge Peters. A tall man lured me away from home that night. <laughs> but there's no use talking to you. It's not your fault, I know that. Mm. There was a single fact you could remember about this man. Or if you could explain away one bit of the evidence. No, no, listen. No, that's it, you see. I've been cleverly trained. Nothing's been left to chance. The torture got me out of my house and away from home. Then I had no alibi. That was when they killed the judge. Moss, what can you remember about this man? Think. Think hard. Nothing. I remember nothing. What did he say? He said my brother was in trouble, that he'd been arrested. He said his name was Lippy. That's all, just Lippy. He said I had to sign for my brother's day. Every thief caught with the goods on him always says a tall man handed him over. Or a short man, or a fat man. Never a man who can be identified. Try, Morse. You're standing in the very shadow of death. You can some help. But somehow I've always believed your story. There's nothing that can be done. Oh, try, man, try. What kind of a voice had this tall man? Voice? <laughs> like a crook. Like an old lad. Talk from one corner of his mouth without moving his lips, you know. It's hopeless, isn't it? Yes, I know that. Nothing short of supernatural aid could save me now. And there's no hope of that. Isn't there? I wonder. I'll examine the execution, said, sir. There's nothing there. Nothing at all. I don't believe it. They're lying, Bates. I'm not used to being called a liar, even by a hangman. He's lost his nerve. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, I've seen That's it. enough. I've That's seen enough, it. both of you. I'm going to report a small technical hitch in the execution. 
Bates, take Charter's hair to the execution shed and demonstrate there's no spooks or bogeys in it. Uh, then test the gallows with a bag of sand the same weight as the prisoner. The execution will take place immediately afterwards. Ready? Yes, sir. Right, go to it. Try it again. Uh, uh, it worked. Hey, uh, they know he's not guilty. Straighten your spine, you sniveling rat, all right? All right, I think. I'm going to get this over the woods before the men have breakfast, and if you won't pull the lever, I'll do it myself. carried out as for the sentence of the court. But oh, uh, it won't work. We can't hang him now. We can't. <laughs> Off the rail still. They keep the doors closed. You ask me, we'll have a full size right on our hands if we try and hang Morse again. The sentence of the court is clear. Mm. As for the, the fiction that an execution cannot be attempted twice, that's utter rubbish. It was simply persevere, that's all. Uh, do it yourself. I can't. Very well, Chargers. I shall. Well, first, be so good as to help us with that bag of sand. We'll go and test the trap again. <laughs> Now, there's nothing wrong with the mechanism. Oh, a great deal of matter outside. The coming away, Bates. We'll open the door. until the morning. I'm ordered to have the gallows working or no resign. The scandal will shake the entire country. He should be reprieved. He's been through enough. Yes, Bates, but the law is the law. There's nothing we can do. Unless we can show clearly that Morse was not guilty of the judge's murder. Not much chance of that, sir. No. And yet, I wonder, you remember the circumstances of the case, don't you? Not very clearly, sir. I followed it at the time, but so far as I can remember, the evidence was clear. Mm. Morse claimed he'd been wrongly convicted of a robbery. He found guilty and sentenced to five years' hard labor. Mm. Peters was an hanging judge. 
It was a man who liked Parsons, sent us to death. Yes, he kept Charteris busy, Judge Peters did. Moss escaped from prison. And the judge was found shot. And Moss, when he was arrested, could only produce a weak story about a tall man who lured him away from the house. And the rest of the evidence was conclusive. I must say, it seems so to me, sir. Bates, if we could find that man... Plenty of people added him for Judge Peters. He sent Manor into the gullers and young Eddie Chance. Had he never deserved to die, it was manslaughter, pure and simple. Bates, that's your opinion. You didn't hear the case. Like animals, just like animals behind bars. Yeah, I'm off that soon if they don't stop it. The refused general threw the food about. By the way, where's Chatteris? He's in the duty room, sir. Why would I talk to him? He's still raving about this ghost or apparition or whatever it was he saw. Very well, I'll see him there. In the meantime, try to get some sense into the prisoners. This isn't helping anybody. So then, is it direct mob action or do they seem to have a leader? Cockney Harry, a lifer. He leads most of the trouble around here. Pella Morsey, sir, he's straight with him. Mm. Bring him to my office under guard. Yes, sir. Shall I charge him with a breach of regulations? I've got to talk to him first. If he you knows Morse, well, he might be able to help. Now, I'd better go and see Charteris. I saw it. Standing there in the execution shed. Not a ghost of a ghost. Have a drink? Yeah, take it easy, man. Why didn't the trap work? Show me that, then. How do I know? Perhaps the wood had warped us. Well, I've inspected it. There's no warp. Put a sack on the trap. Crash, it works. Put moss on it. It don't work. Why? Forces. Supernatural forces, Major Wills. An apparition. The execution will take place tomorrow morning at eight. There must be no slip. You just get a new hangman. You haven't seen him the way I did. You haven't seen him standing around you in the dark. Just a glimmer of the lamps outside the house. Look at just as they looked. Just as they looked. Hold yourself together, Charlie. Pull yourself together. You'll drive yourself out of your mind. I'll get away my day, Wade. You tied her up yourself. Never did a better job. He calculated the drop exact to the inch. He just stepped off. That's famous, Major. I ought to know. Stop drinking and stop that gibbering, or I'll have you locked in a cell. Uh, excuse me, sir. Garrett's in your office. Uh, Garrett? Oh, yes. Cockney Harry. Yeah, I'm coming in a moment. He's a tall man, Garrett, yeah. He's a very tall man, isn't he? What do you mean? I just said he was tall. Uh, the one thing you can do to help the situation, Chartres... Sober up. Well, Garrett? Oh, I feel fine, Governor. You know the penalty for acting against authority? Yes. I've got to stand in the corner and get kept in after me sewing class. Mm. Morse is a pal of yours, isn't he? What if he is? You don't like what happened this morning, do you? Makes a change, Governor. This is going to leak out, you know. You can't stop it. Oh, what a jail. The hangman's drunk and the gallows won't work and you're going to try it on the poor devil again tomorrow. The law will take its course and justice will prevail. Oh, chase my Aunt Fanny around the exercise yard. You smug, bloated, frog-faced son of a... Get the civil tongue in your... Leave him, Bates. Leave him. Let him blow off steam. You're a fair man. Everybody says so. Until now, I reckoned you were decent. But a screw. But you've got no hope, have you? You can't hang, Morse. Go on, try. Get creepy charter is sober and let him have another go. Hey, you'll go down in history as the man who couldn't hang Morse. Hey, you'll see. What were you doing in the execution shed today? Ah, just a morbid interest in such things. I had an old uncle once. You admit being in the shed. Uh, it was you whom Charteris saw. I don't admit nothing. Why did you shoot the judge? Me shoot him? Yes, you. You escaped and took Moss with you, not the other way about. Why did you escape, Garrett? Claustrophobia. I had a girlfriend once who couldn't even stay in a room with the door shut. <laughs> not with me, she couldn't. You have. killed Judge Peters. Why, man? Me, King? Oh, don't make me laugh. I'm the only bloke with a perfect alibi. And my alibi is Morse, that's who. Morse himself. And you were the tall man he met that night. 
Uh, an unfortunate slip of the tongue, wasn't it, Harry? Bates, bring Moss here. We'll save that man whether he likes it or not. Moss, I want the truth. Yes, Moss. Tell him or you're going to get into trouble. Shut up, Harry. Moss, was this the tall man who lured you away from the house that night? Yeah, I've admitted it, boy. It's okay, you can tell him. Yes. Harry asked me to meet him to discuss getting out of the country. He said there was a ship. Yes, so there was. There you are. I was outside the house with Morse at the time. Now do you believe I didn't kill Judge Peters? We'll see Chartres in the institution room. All of us, now. Uh, let me inform you, I'm a man in a respectable and important government position. I'm not a bit trifled with. And let me tell you this. If I can't hang Morse, nobody can hang him. Morse, I'll see you at eight sharp tomorrow, my lad. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Stay where you are, Chartres. Have you ever heard of a case before in which a convicted prisoner couldn't be hanged? Uh, lots of them. My colleagues usually won out now. Crime doesn't pay, eh, boss? It seems incredible to me, Charters, that a man in your profession hasn't heard of the most famous case of all, the original case of the man they couldn't hang. What are you getting at, Major? Did you plan the escape, Charters? What? Did you get Moss out of jail in order to give you a perfect setup for murder? Did you frame Moss and betray him? What an idea. And in the end, you found you couldn't go through with it, didn't you, Charters? I uh, don't say anything you can't prove. You found you couldn't hang Moss in the end, and so you told us the tall story about the ghost in the execution shed and the trap that wouldn't work. Uh, you saw it well with a sack of sand. And... But you weren't standing in place, were you, Charters? Huh? You see, I read that story, too. The man they couldn't hang. And I guarantee that when you stand in place, there's a plank that slides out under the trap and stops it working. Uh, I had to kill the judge. I had to. But why? That's what I can't understand. Why? Because he killed my father. Drove him off his head. Men, my dad Rick, was innocent. They had to go. It's the same with me. I'm going to fight head with it. The hanging judge, they called him. But he didn't have to do the hanging. I did. I did, Doctor. Major. Major. When it comes to be my turn, please let my assistant turn me on. Young Sammy. He's got a touch, Sammy. He's an artist. Couldn't be succeeded by a better man. Interesting lives some people lead, don't you think? As for poor Charteris, the executioner, he keeps us in fits of laughter with his merry jests. Here, behind the creaking door. This is your host back again. Just a reminder of our rendezvous next week. Where are we going? Through the creaking door, of course. <laughs>